Coming up next week, one of the end zone. Let's roll our Carl Hogan Toyota game of the week. Oh boy, what did you do in Starkville? And at the top of 6A, oh man, Tupelo still playing. West Point played yesterday and looked good. And the Forte of 4A, my goodness, we had some statement wins tonight all across the Mississippi. We got all the highlights and scores coming up. The WCBI End Zone Show with Robbie Donahoe and Tom Ebel is brought to you by OCH Regional Medical Center, Carl Hogan Toyota, East Mississippi Community College, and Max South. Welcome into week one of the End Zone presented by OCH Regional Medical Center. <laughs> Our great sponsors, Carl Hogan Toyota, East Mississippi Community College, and Max South with us as well. Robbie Donahoe, Tom Ebel, football is here, ladies and gentlemen. Took long enough, but it's finally here. Finally here. What a, it was just the sights and sounds, smelling the barbecue, seeing the pigskin get tossed around. <laughs> it's a beautiful thing. It's finally back. It is wonderful. Uh, we're going to jump into our Carl Hogan Toyota Game of the Week momentarily here, but uh, before we start our show tonight, I want to say we're going to be doing this show tonight in tribute for a couple people that lost their lives over this past year leading up to this year uh, that were big parts of football traditions and programs all across Mississippi. Uh, Cam Billis of Shannon, Thomas Lee Bales at Oak Hill Academy, uh, Gavin Toller at Hamilton, Ty Rayford at North Pontotoc, Jim Williams at Amory, and Coach James Patterson at Knoxby County. Uh, we're going to miss them tremendously this year, but this show tonight is for you and those families and friends who lost loved ones um, this offseason. So let's get right to the highlights. Carl Logan Toyota Game of the Week. What happened? Oh, no. WCBI High School Football Game of the Week is brought to you by Carl Hogan Toyota in Columbus. We had the Toyota camera this evening down in Macon, and it is Beautiful. a fantastic car. Great leather interior. Go get yourself one at Carl Hogan Toyota. Chris Jones back at Knoxby County. Former Tiger football star coming on in Knoxby honoring Coach Pat with his shirt running out. Let's get some football, kids. Opening drive, Malik Stallings, Kazaya Pruitt. That's a pretty good pitch, pitch and catch to start things off. 35 yards would lead to a field goal. 3-0, Knoxby has the lead. Enjoy that lead while it lasts because it went away really quickly. Dre Swanigan on the ensuing kickoff. Lost a little turbo at the end, but he would pick up a 75-yard return. Would lead to a field goal. Jackets tie it up at three. Back to the air goes Knoxby County. Stallings, Rashad Eads. This is a guy you're going to have to get to know pretty quickly. He was quiet last year after an injury. He's going to break out this year. Uh, no points after that play. It's 3-3 after one. Second quarter. Stallings to the air. He finds Milestone. One problem. Milestone is wearing the wrong colored uniform. Picks it off, takes it the other way. Starkville's in business. That would lead to this. Jeffrey Simmons trying to keep the guys up on the sidelines. Malik Brown. Watch this catch by Cam Gardner. Uh, this is in double coverage. Incredible catch. Picks up a first down, and then here comes Dreek Clark. Good to see number three back on the field. Makes a great move, and he's got reservations for six. Starkville led 23-3 at the half. What? What? 43-3? Am I reading that right? Yipes. My goodness, Starkville. You want to talk about starting, to, starting an air off right under Chris Jones. Goodness. The jacket's back. Certainly looks like it. That was a big time win for Starkville. So keep an eye on the Jackets in 6A. Uh, let's continue into 6A. Meridian and Tupelo tonight. Uh, this game, this game, by the way, just went final, I believe. Second quarter, Meridian's down 14-0. Oh, look who it is. It's the famous Jet Johnson with the interception. And Tupelo is going to take over, but couldn't get any points before the end of the half. So it's a 14-0 lead at the break for Tupelo. Third quarter, Tupelo on offense. Stephon McGlon picks up a first down on that carry. And then later, here comes The Rock. J-Rock can't stop, won't stop the J-Rock. And he's getting through the defense, and he's gone. But... There's yellow on the field. It's not the Tupelo uniform. There's a flag. Brings it back. No problem. Tupelo, a big time win in the 6A powerhouse matchup against Meridian. Just went final. Tupelo wins 34 25 over Meridian. To Thursday win. football. Thursday football, West Point, Columbus. We talked a little bit earlier about Knox being Starkville. What happened in this one? Well, I'll tell you what happened. It's the two-headed absolute monster of Marcus Murphy and Chris Calvert. Folks, this is Chris Calvert absolutely blazing for 68 yards on the third play of the game against Columbus. Columbus, of course, a lot of turnover from a year ago, a lot of young talent on that team. 
But unfortunately, they ran into probably the best team in the state yeah. in West Point. Marcus Murphy here. He had an RPO touchdown. West Point is just absolutely filthy. They're going to be very good this year. And they won 42-14. So, 42-14. Not bad. Yes. West Point, not bad. Not a bad win. Columbus will get better. Just give the Falcons some time. So, good win for West Point over Columbus. So, North Pontotoc and Saltillo. Man, you want to talk about a shootout. Absolutely. So, here we go. First play of the game we'll get with Saltillo. Titus Hurd is going to be back to pass. He's going to be looking all day. Here, look at this air mail. Look at that one's crossing county oh. lines. That one finds Brady Butler, 61 yards to the house. Tigers, they're up seven to nothing. But now the Vikings, they say, hey, you can do it. Anything you can do, we can do better. Clark Mills, he's going to step back to pass. He's in a bit of trouble. Saltillo defense gets all over him. He gets the safety, so the Tigers up nine to nothing. Unconventional nine points, but Vikings back on offense. Mills back to pass. This is, I think, what they meant the last time around. This one, 80 yards. Mills finds Brendan Fields. That would cut into that lead nine to seven, but it would be Saltillo getting the W, 36, 28. In a really entertaining game. Let's get some scores here. Uh, Oxford winning the red carpet bowl tonight at Warren Central, 21-6. A Thursday game, South Panola wins over Clinton, 24-23. Cleveland Central over a defending chance from 4A. Lafayette up to 5A now. They uh, fall to 21-13. A new hope falls at Forest tonight, 25-3. DeSoto Central over Amory, 20-7. Also want to mention a couple other scores. Pontotoc crushed Houston, 41-12. Itawamba AHS defeated Ripley, 28-7. To Corinth and Shannon we go. I tell you, we, we talked up Shana in the preview shows, and they sure, they certainly brought it tonight. This is Dejuan, Dejuan Lockridge, 25-yard pickup, and then we're going to the air. Jordan Gillian, Augusta Cox, how about that catch for the touchdown? Darrell Carter's Red Raiders take a 7-0 lead. Now, Corinth is going to be on offense here. John Warren is going to throw to Augusta Cox. Now, you just saw him on offense. He can also catch on defense like with the move. interception right there. And then from that spot... Jordan Gilliland is going to go to the air, and he's going to find Dallas Migahi. And Dallas, watch this, makes the catch, and he's got pretty good speed. And you are so not catching number six. Who's going to get six? Shannon wins 28-14 over Corinth. A good win for the Red Raiders over the Warriors. And real quick, I want to mention Louisville. Thursday night game. If you want to see these highlights on our Thursday night page as well. Uh, the Wildcats started off hot, looked good against Holmes County Central, especially on defense as the Powercats win over HCC 24 to nothing. When we return on the end zone, we have many more scores and highlights yeah, yeah. to get to. Many of them happen to be in Class 3A. Boonville looking sharp tonight. Boy, did Aberdeen make a statement. And what about Nettleton and Mantechi? They were going down as well. In Webster County, East Webster and Eubora both playing. Both playing well. Both playing and getting wins. We'll tell you how the Wolverines and Eagles did in their matchups. And we'll also recap on some of our Thursday matchups. Nanawaya and South Pontotoc, they look good. We'll show you the highlights. Sit down. Sit down.
Back here on the end zone, presented by OCH Regional Medical Center. Let's go back into the highlights. We have so many highlights that are just coming out of our ears. Let's just go for so it. So many to get to. Boonville, Morville, let's, let's make Morville. it happen. Let's Blue Devils it. looking sharp in this one. Here we'll get it to Big William Jackson. This dude can rumble. Look at this big <laughs> fella. Get out of his way. Gets Boonville for a first down. Several plays later, Boonville knocking on the door. Watch it's Jackson this again. Look at this. Where Push is he? the pile. Look at him. Move get through, him. William. Beep. Beep, He's in! Beep. Big Bill Jackson in for six, <laughs> seven, nothing Blue Devils. So Morville facing a third and forever, but it's Mitchell Tharp. He's all, here he goes. Mitchell scrambling to the outside, running. He's trying to get there, but he'd be just short of a first down. But it'd be Boonville comes away with a big victory, 28 to 12 over the Super Troopers. Let's go to Latimer Park, New Albany and Baldwin. This was an interesting and fun football game. And it's after a scoreless first quarter, Loden Bolin drops back and very nearly connected on a touchdown here for the Bulldogs, but no harm done. Watch Bolin rolling out right, and look who's going to be in the back of the end zone. Reno Montgomery for the touchdown. New Albany takes a 7-0 lead. Bearcat fans looking to uh, get some points on the board. They would do so a little bit later on. John Tricks Robinson, this is the guy you want to try to get the ball to. He had a great end of the season last year, picks up a first down. Uh, Baldwin, would. this game was a great game back and forth. We were tied at 14 in the fourth quarter. New Albany got the go-ahead score as the Bulldogs win 21-14 over Baldwin. To Bruce and Aberdeen. The Bulldogs were a team of Aberdeen that we, we thought maybe they would come out with a big season this year. Sure enough, they made a statement tonight. Jacoby Carew starting things off in a big way on just a, st a straight draw run there for a first down. And then Fred Fields is your quarterback, and he's back after a great season last year. He's going to hook up with Terrence Rowe on the slant pass, and Terrence row, row, row the boat gently, ran the camera. gently down to the end zone. Uh, Aberdeen is cruised. 50 to 12 over wow. Bruce. Good win for the Bulldogs. And Mantachi and Nettleton tonight. How would the Tigers of Ken Tops do tonight? Pretty good. Kendra Johnson going to start things off with a decent pickup, getting five yards. And then Colton Osborne going to find Braxton Creighton on this. Get the pretty, hand up. Look at this pretty pitch and catch. Yeah, you know when you got that hand up, you got to step on your receiver, give me the ball. That's a touchdown. Nettleton's up big. Uh, Seth Johnson's trying to get things going here for the Tatch. Gets a good pickup. Gets 25 yards into Nettleton territory, John inside the 10, and then Johnson going to keep it for another six-yard run right here. Uh, Osborne later on is going to find Tatum Allred for a 55-yard touchdown right here. It's just a simple dump-off pass, but you get good blocking downfield. There's a lot of things you can do when you get good blocking, and he got it there. N uh, Nettleton, 48-13 winners over Man Tache. Get some scores. Tish County, first game under Ray Weeks. They defeat Alcorn Central 35-13. Costa, impressive win over Independence. Aggies win 17-0. Faulkner, doing work against East Union, 50-28. Oh, Winona, you want to talk about a statement? 58-0 over Strayhorn. Mm -hmm. Tigers are no joke. Uh, Walnut defeating Ashland tonight, 33-12. And your defending state chance from Calhoun City. Doing work and <laughs> coffee, grinding some beans in the process. Wildcats win. A lot of beans turned in that one. Yikes. Wildcats win 43 to, to Webster County. Back to the highlights. One of the best traditions for coming out. You pour up, coming down the steps, facing off against the Blue Devils, Water Valley. Uh, Tanner Knight would be running for his life here early on. Here, a gang of Blue Devils get all over him for the sack. And then later on in the drive, it would be Jeremiah Ray throwing, gobbling up Tanner Knight for the sack. Coach is like, hey, let's keep it up. It's all right. We're fine. Don't worry. On a fourth and 11, Knight is going to find Al Dumas for six. That's a good guy to How find. How about that? Six nothing. These, or Upora, they got the W and got the win. The rolled over here. 13 yeah, 13 to 7. seven. How about win. that? Good win for Defensive Upora. show out in that one. So then we'll move on to Choctaw County at East Webster. This slug one was fest. a slugfest. Slugfest. Absolutely. Down 14-6, Choctaw County needing a stop. They would get it. That's big Julius Bug. Bug. Bugs? Bugs. Yeah, it looks like bugs. Yeah, sex Charlie Brand, but here, look at this one. Austin Tolano's gonna get it out. Well, watch out, young fella. That is Rakeem Ashford. It'd be a missed field goal, though, right before halftime, but East Webster returns a favor. Here, Isaac Patterson just blows up a run. <laughs> Nothing happening there. Be a slugfest in this one. East Webster wins 14 to 12. How about that for some defensive football? A couple first uh, first time head coaches, well, first year head coaches, uh, Ben Ashley and Ron Price. Uh, fun fun game. Uh, let's get some Thursday games. Uh, we're just going to show you lightning here, and that's all we need to show you from Nana Wife from last night. They were taking on Hatley, Chris Fourth Smith, um, tackling optional on the guy who wearing who's wearing 21. 
as he gets the punt return for the touchdown. Nanawaya cruised to a 49-6 win over Hatley last night. And South Pontotoc, how about the Cougars taking on Vardaman? We do remember Ty Rayford, uh, everyone in Pontotoc County remembering him. Tremendous kid. I certainly miss him playing in North Pontotoc this year. Uh, Cole Brown, Brett Riley, those are two guys that are going to be hooking up a lot this year. That's a big touchdown right there from Thursday night. South Pontotoc defeated Vardaman 42-12. Watch out for the Cougars. Day, not yet. South, South Pontotoc is good. Vardaman is going to put it together. Uh, they got some pretty good players. You saw a yeah. touchdown run right there. Uh, when we return on the end zone, into Class 1A, 1A North, I might add, Okalona and Smithville, both playing tough games tonight. Both teams looking pretty sharp. We're going to show you their highlights and see how they did. And in the South, maybe the win of the night in all of, all of Mississippi came from a 1A team playing a 4A team. Yeah, we'll tell you how that happened. Into the academy school, Starkville Academy, playing a tough Lamar team. I'll tell you how the balls did. Come back. Sit down. It's in the sports cave. Scripts from the sports cave? So yeah, print off scripts from the sports cave. They should be in my email. Okalona. Back into the end zone we go, Belmont Smithville. The Michael Campbell era starting tonight for the Seminoles as they were on the road taking on the Cardinals and a pretty good start for Belmont. They're running through that Smithville defense, getting a great gain into the red zone. Cardinals gonna try to turn it into points here. Uh, this was a really interesting football game. Uh, Belmont would pound it in there for the touchdown. Uh, Cardinals had the lead. Smithville gonna try to come back though on their ensuing drive. You're going to see uh, Dustin Moffat uh, just taking the snap out of the oh, Wildcat. Out of and, and Dustin, Dustin's got pretty good speed, and he, if you are in front of him, then you're not going to catch him from behind. As he goes all the way for the touchdown, Smithville wins it over Belmont in a close one, 20-18. To, to Lamar Harvey and Oklahoma, my goodness, the Chieftains dropping down to 1A, playing a Jay-Z George team that just was not ready for what the Chiefs had in store for him. As Oklahoma gets the interception right here, and it's coming back the other way. And it's coming back the other way for an interception, Damn. and it's coming out. Of, it's, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a pick six actually. Uh, that's a touchdown. Oklahoma had many more of those. Bodies falling everywhere. I tell you, keep an eye out for Oklahoma in Class One A. Chiefs win forty-eight nothing. Yikes! Uh oh, there's Over another. Jay George. Another there's another coughing up Yikes. the pigskin. Uh, so good win for Oklahoma. And first-year head coach Lamar Harvey at Oklahoma. To Caledonian West Lounge, I mentioned it going into break. A 1A team facing a 4A team. Surely a 1A team can't beat a 4A team, right? You're wrong. That's Jarquavia Sanders to Caljuan Johnson inside the 10. Under 20 seconds left. Sanders scrambling. Uh, gets off a pass to Quinshawn Lucius for the wow, touchdown before the end of the half. But... It's called back because of a legal man downfield. Oh! West Lounge would lead 6 nothing at the half, third quarter. Lauren Cox comes up with the interception right here for the Feds. 
Uh, but West Lounge, a 118 beating a 418. How about that? Congrats a to the shutout. Panthers. 14 0. Good going for West Lounge over Caledonia. Let's get some scores here. Bakersville over Middleton, Tennessee, 39 19. Other scores around our area. Thrasher defeated New Sight in a big way, 52 to 6. Noxipater shutting out Montgomery County, 47 0. And, well, 47 was a good score. Hamilton had it too. They defeated Coldwater, 47 to 6. The French Camp. Why don't a Christian taking on French Camp? The Stars looking to make something happen. Here's a let's get some touchdowns. How about it? Touchdowns? Touchdown right off the right off the bat for French Camp. Takari Stewart takes it to the house. That's 7 0. And so next play out of uh, Shaw Ferguson. He's gonna roll out. Look at Shaw. It's a nice one right across the middle. Nice pick up there to Latham Hill. That lead to a nice little touchdown here by Cody Marlowe. He's gonna rumble in, get off him for six points. So Winona making it happen tonight. It was a crazy well, finish. Say, crazy Winona finish. making it happen to start. Crazy finish French camp. They say not in our house. They win 36 to 34. How about that? Good, good win, win. For the, yeah, good win for the Panthers. But Starkville Academy, really good game over Lamar. Yeah, looking good. Noah Metvin, he's going to find Brady Richardson here. Brady gets a couple yards, gets inside for a first down. Then Noah's going to keep it himself. Rumbling, stumbling, gets the two-yard touchdown. So 7 nothing balls early on. But then Lamar would answer right back. It'd be JT McClellan. He's going to take the handoff. Nice little draw there. He's going to get to the outside here. Oh, makes a man miss. Makes another man miss. Gets in for, gets down inside the 10 yard line, and that would lead to a McClellan score. So it'd be tied up at that point, but it would be Starkville Academy rolling away with this one 43 to 21. Good win for the Volunteers. Really good, good win for the Volunteers. To Columbus Christian taking on Porter's Chapel tonight. We're late in the second quarter here. Christian Pickering, uh, this is the quarterback for, for Porter's Chapel. Somehow he gets away here. I'm not quite sure how, but he's still running as if people are chasing him. <laughs> he outran and, the camera. And I don't know how he managed to do this, but he picks up a first down and end up at a touchdown. A Columbus Christian was shut out tonight, 48 to nothing. To Heritage Academy, or actually, we want to show you Houston Pontotoc. We, we didn't go. get a chance to show you this earlier. Let's show it to you now. Uh, you want to talk about making a statement? By the way, Pontotoc's looking a little like the Steelers uniforms, and I like it. Uriah Shepard on a carry. Look out. Watch out for the camera there. Gets a good game. After a Pontotoc three and out, Topper's back on offense. Uh, Shepard back to pass. Going to find Janaz Tucker for a nice pickup. Going to get towards midfield. Uh, but nothing doing on the play, so we're going to the second quarter. We still had no score. Uh, these two teams is really physical ball clubs here. Justin Carter going to find Austin Morphis. That's a pretty good guy to find, and that would lead to Carter again to Morphis. Now uh, remember, Morpheus is the Greek god of dreams. So you want to talk about the stuff of <laughs> dreams right here? Austin Morphis gliding to the end zone. Uh, win of the night. I'm calling it right here. Pontotoc over Houston. 41-12. Goodness. Nice. On the road. Goodness, Ooh, wow. Warriors. That's a heck of a win. A statement victory there. All right, let's get some scores here. Uh, Winston Academy, good win over Newton County Academy, 14-0. Want to mention Heritage also won tonight, 46-20. Uh, Oak Hill Academy, Deer Creek game was considered a no contest due to the rain. Uh, Prentice Christian played, a, uh, and Calvin Academy played a basketball game, 62-58 wow. there. And then uh, also want to mention uh, Victory Christian over Meadowview tonight, 53-12. Uh, so there's a couple games we didn't get to due to time constraints, so you should watch us at 11 on the CW. We're also streaming all of these shows on our YouTube page. Uh, if you want to find that YouTube link, it's on our Twitter page, at WCBI Endzone, or you can find that YouTube link on our Facebook page as well. <sighs> Gather yourself, catch a breath. we got another show to come at 11 p.m. Until then, have a great rest of your evening. Week Football one. is back. We Football is <laughs> back. It's great. We'll see you then. The WCBI End Zone Show with Robbie Donahoe and Tom Ebel is brought to you by OCH Regional Medical Center, Carl Hogan Toyota, East Mississippi Community College, and Max South.